Hello there. Um, I thought I would show you guys the model that was used in the Ganymede. This is what it looks like. I don't have a purpose for this part yet, but I'll just show you around. Here's the main landing strip. Oh, that's why it's acting all glitchy. Doesn't like me getting too close. Okay. Yeah, that should be easier. Alright, let's start with the shuttle bay. There's a lot that has been changed on here in the game. Like, for instance, these aren't double deck windows in the game. That'd be huge if it were. And I put a cargo door here in the game, but there's none here. Actually, oh, that should work better. And I have a cursor to point at. Awesome. Okay. These things right here, they look really weird in the game. I don't know. I think they're supposed to be lights, but no, they're just sort of dividing walls. This is a sensor sort of thing. Trying to get used to this, hang on. It's a bit fast, it's kind of irritating, but. Oh, that's not annoying at all. Okay. We're just gonna deal with it. Alright, here's an airlock. Now, there's something you should know. This is not entirely accurate. This, this part has one, two, three, four decks on the model, but in the game it has three decks. So, this is just a slightly too small. Here's the main airlock. Way too detailed, but whatever. Here's the imaging array area. Kind of proud of this. Worked out pretty well. Here's a nice close up. Sorry, I have Minecraft open in the background. Chad is going to get angry if I just chill there. Alright. Oops. Alright. There's a few issues on here. But whatever. Like, this is a lot more detailed than in the game, like, way more detailed than it really needs to be for a ship of this type. But I got carried away up here, as you can probably see. I can't tilt, probably with this camera mode. Here's an RCS thruster and the impulse engines. 
like all there you can see all the vents in there the thrust vents pretty cool touch I think here's an impulse engine they actually point backwards believe it or not directly backwards as you can see nice touch I think the phaser strip I'm not really sure about they all look like this Um, I was going to redo it, but it would be too much of a pain to rip out. It shouldn't have the ridges. It should be a channel in the middle, but who cares? More sensors. This is interesting. It's not actually on a ship in the game, but these are power transfer conduits from the warp core. Don't worry, it's shielded, like, heavily. I just thought it would be an interesting touch. Kind of canon, I don't know. This part is kind of interesting. If you've seen in that one episode of TNG where they were inside the cell and there's that plasma beam thing in the middle, it's kind of a column looking thing. This is at the top of the column. I don't know what it does. Maybe it's an impulse crystal? There was a fun, similar function. I don't know. It just looked cool when I made it. Don't judge. Here's the back of the nacelles with some RCS thrusters, which have yet to be implemented in the game. This isn't super. It doesn't have a super detailed nacelle. It's a lot more detailed when you see the textures, which are on my home computer, not my college computer. I need to have my brother um, send me the, those files. I've, I've heard that this is a little bit too small, but I think it looks pretty good, honestly. Let me fix this, if I remember how. Oh, it's in N. Oops, that would have been kind of bad. One zero 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 zero. If I go too high, I start getting graphical glitches. Okay, if you haven't seen it from far away, is what it looks like. I personally like the design. Tell me what you think in the comment section. In case you're wondering, I'm using a 3D mouse right now. That's a mistake. Here's the lower part of the secondary hull. With some, M some torpedo tubes. I think there's some in the front here too. And that's I forgot to add them. Yep, there they are. Those are on the model. They're a little bit more detailed, but they are on the model. I mean, in the game. Sorry. Hmm. Here's some saucer RCS thrusters. Those are on the game. In the game. These are supposed to be ultra long range tr subspace transceivers, but I'm not so sure. I got rid of them on the game. In the game? And I don't know what those are either. There's no escape pods on this model. I haven't implemented those yet. On the 
in the game there's the skate pods right here along this thing and back here I believe yeah but the funny thing is I I submitted this for Trek Yards review but and they said they were interested but I have yet to finish it so I haven't taken them up on their offer Alright, here's some external views. That saucer looks insane in that view. There's a side. Take it or leave it. I, I, I like the side view, personally. It's very unique, especially the hump. It has an Enterprise B feel. If it didn't have a neck, I mean, if the Enterprise B did not have a neck, and the nacelles were positioned more forward it would look like this personally that's what I think at least here's what the front looks like the top and zoom out there's not a lot of detail up here weirdly the bottom that's an interesting view. Yeah, perspective of view is really weird, if I'm being honest. You can't pass through anything. I think I'm going to end it here with Huh. Hang on. I'll figure it out later. Alright. Thank you all for watching. Hope that tells you a little bit more about the ship. That's what the windows are supposed to look like. They were completely trashed in the other render. On, the, on another program I was using. I really still don't know what this thing is going to be used for. Yeah. Looks pretty good. Alright, catch you later.